Hello, and thank you for watching today's podcast dealing with Mesopotamia and the rise of Sumer. As we discussed in our last podcast, the Tigris and Euphrates rivers helped to make Mesopotamia an ideal location for the rise of civilization. The fertile soil of the region resulted in more productive farming, allowing communities to develop permanent settlements. Although Mesopotamia had fertile soil, farming wasn't easy. When heavy rains fell, the Tigris and Euphrates would flood, destroying crops and homes and killing livestock. When water levels were too low, crops would dry up. Farmers knew that they needed to develop a way to control the river's flow. To solve this problem, farmers used irrigation to regulate the amount of water their fields received. By using a series of canals, or man-made waterways, and ditches, farmers could not only supply their fields with water during droughts, but also protect them from floods by catching floodwaters in large storage basins. Irrigation increased the amount of food farmers were able to produce. In fact, farmers grew so much food that they had a food surplus, or more than they needed. Populations began to increase, and because irrigation made farmers more productive, fewer people needed to farm. New occupations developed. And for the first time ever, people became crafters, religious leaders, and government workers. The type of arrangement in which a worker specializes in a particular task or job is called division of labor. Having people available to work on different jobs meant that society could accomplish more. While the majority of people still focused on farming, other citizens worked as carpenters, butchers, and veterinarians. As the size and complexity of these settlements grew, cities developed, giving rise to the world's first civilization called Sumer. Thank you for watching.